What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Garrett. I'm a seven figure Amazon seller showing you guys how you can make a living off Amazon as well. In today's video, we're going over how to start to compile wholesale leads lists, how to get tons and tons and tons of companies contact information and use that to start doing your wholesale outreach. If you're looking to get into wholesale in 2023, this is the video for you. Sourcing new wholesale suppliers, specifically as you're starting to build up your wholesale business, as you're getting going, is going to be very much so a volume game, right? A numbers game in terms of reaching out to 100 or 200 or 500 each and every week and winning a small percentage of those. And there's no better way to come up with a very, very big list of contacts from a wholesale supplier you know, distribution perspective than simply just using Google. Right? You're going to be able to, and we're going to go over it today, you're going to be able to really develop big leads lists from a wholesale per perspective pretty quickly. And leads lists from a wholesale perspective, meaning uh, suppliers, regional distribution companies, local distribution companies, that sort of thing, rather than specific products. Right, We're changing our perspective just a bit from OA to wholesale in terms of not necessarily focusing on a product or two, rather than now focusing on big companies as 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 leads um, specifically sales reps and things like that so we're going to be in google and not to oversimplify it we're really just going to use you know th a three keyword phrase in constructing and finding these leads right and so just to get us going here depending on what location you are right we're going to want to be probably focusing on like the closest big cities, right? So I'm, I'm outside of, I'm in Southeastern Pennsylvania. So our closest city would be um, Philadelphia, right? Luckily for us, we have Newark. We have, we have a lot of New, obviously New York City. We have a lot of big cities around. And so just to get going, right? We're going to use the first word in our key phrase is going to be whatever category you're focused in, right? So we can start if, off by saying grocery, I hope I can't spell grocery. The middle word is going to be your your volume indicator, right? So we have a several we can kind of rotate through, but we can use bulk, um, wholesale, supplier, vendor, all those sort of keywords that signify in Google's SEO that sort of company that you're looking for, and then obviously your location. And so as I type in grocery bulk Philadelphia, right? we're going to get a lot of hits in terms of those sorts of companies, right? If we do Yelp is going to be good, White Pages is going to be also pretty helpful, or Yellow Pages, um, best 30 wholesale grocers in Philadelphia. And right off the bat, within a couple of minutes, we have potentially 20, 30, 10, something like that of numbers and, and company names we can now reach out to. Some have biz, Some have websites, some don't. Right, General Mills has a website. Some of the bigger ones probably have websites, but all of them are going to have a phone number and a address. You can give them a call. Um, you can see if they have a website. You can use LinkedIn, right? So, t um, taking their company name um, and doing something like plugging this in with sales reps, just to find a warm lead of some sort of. Um, contact information of a person that you can reach out to. But getting back to this, right? If we click into any of the any of the other links, right? Um, Yelp is probably some of the same companies, but some of the different ones. So right off the bat, PJ Marketplace. Um, some of these are probably local-ish. Uh, I mean, smaller retail stores. Um, Philadelphia Wholesale Produce Market, um, International Foods and Spices. That's probably a good one. Um, obviously, some of these aren't aren't super viable but within minutes we have you know tens of leads and we're just getting going um, bulk delivery Philadelphia and you'll notice right if we simply change this word so if we change this to wholesale there's gonna be hey quick commercial break I appreciate you guys supporting and following the channel if you are enjoying this particular video, which I'm assuming you are if you're still watching it to this point, make sure you subscribe to the channel, scroll down, hit that subscribe button, helps me out, helps the channel out. Let's get back to the content. Different ones. SNS Foods, Rockland Wholesale, um, list of wholesale food distribution in Philadelphia. Um, and this gives us pages and pages and pages of contact information, right? 
some of them are going to have phone numbers, some of them are going to have websites, some of them are going to have email addresses, but nonetheless, ways to reach out, ways to contact. Mediterranean Grocery Wholesalers in Philadelphia. And now we can also change this, right? We can do supplier. We can do vendor. And I would rotate through all of these signifiers, all of these words that signify um, you're looking for that sort of company. And then, so, and then we change the location a bit. So we can do Pennsylvania. And we're, uh, we're going to get different results. Best food, dis Gordon Food Service, best food distributor. Right, this wasn't one that came up in Philadelphia, but as soon as we change it to Pennsylvania, we get a different words. Uh, we get different um, results. And if we went through a lot of these links, hundreds and hundreds of different leads that we can now reach out to. Again, how deep you want to go in a specific lead is up to you. I would find some way to get a specific sales rep that you can individually reach out to rather than just going into the, the bulk email box or just calling a general number. So I would have a VA or something take this company or whatever company you're interested in and use LinkedIn to find a specific sales rep or regional sales rep you can reach out to, send an email, give a phone call. If it's close, you can obviously drive and, and, and visit them locally. Um, and also you can check surrounding states, right? So I move to New York or Newark or Delaware or Wilmington, whatever the case may be, and then go through all of my keywords again. Have a list of the four, five, six different keywords, right, the middle word that you want to use, and continue to rotate, and you'll quickly combine or come up with and compile hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of different companies um, that you can uh, reach out to and potentially work with. You're going to be shocked at how many you can come up with. It's just a matter of doing your outreach, doing your due diligence, and and continuing to reach out to each and every one of them, right? This is just grocery now. So if we wanted to, we could even change this to food. Or we can do candy. We can do, obviously, grocery. All This is simply just now revolving around food. But we can change it to beauty. And there's going to be even more opportunity of all the different companies that we can now reach out to go through all our different keywords and continue to iterate and continue to do your outreach. If you reach out to 100 each and every day, you look up in a couple months and you're going to win accounts. You're going to have catalogs that you can go through. And now that's the goal, right? Just getting contact, getting catalogs, getting product information that you can continue to process and do your due diligence on and do your individual product analysis as you would with online arbitrage. That's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like the video. It supports the channel a bunch, and I appreciate it. Um, and we will see you in the next one.